This will get you from zero to $10,000 on YouTube easier than anything you could ever imagine, even if you don't get that many views. In fact, when I finally took what I'm about to show you more seriously, around two years ago, it generated $7,000 in only a few weeks with very little work, and then it went on to surpass way more than that. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what it is, how to use it really easily, the common trap people always fall into, which wrecks the whole thing, and I'm gonna give you my step-by-step -step system to follow, which you can just copy for success. There's a link to download the entire process template in the description. And if you're a good viewer, I might even tell you why I've got writing on my head. But we'll see about that though. Okay, so what is it? Well, it's this email. Now, before you go, well, that's no use to me, or I already use it and it's not doing anything. Just hear me out. 23 months ago, I gave away my half of a company for free and started again from zero. Thing is, I had bills to pay and that meant I needed to make some money fast. Now, at the time, I'd been really lazy with email. I built up about 600 people on a small list and I kind of sent it messages here and there, but I had that and I had a pretty small YouTube channel and that is all. So I decided to get me out of this mess to make a really simple product, a 90 minute workshop I'd do live and then I'd just sell it on demand. Now I was scared that if I put out a promo video about it on the channel, everyone would hate me. So I thought, what do I do? And I just sent an email to my tiny list and boom, $7,000 rolled in over the next couple of weeks. I couldn't actually believe it. And it really is that powerful. Now, I do need to make it clear that I did also push the promotion of this on the community board too, but you're gonna see in this video why email is just so powerful if you wanna make a living and more on your channel. But community board and email combined is a beast. And it's not just me who swears by email. Look at these examples of people tweeting just how impactful it's been for them. This really is a game changer. Hang on though, what if you don't have a product to sell. Well, you still need to get started on this today, so let me show you why. Have you heard about the invalid traffic issue on YouTube recently? Three of my YouTube buddies have been hit by it. What that means is YouTube thinks you are cheating the ad revenue system and it slashes your ad payments. But these people, they're not cheating the system. This is a glitch and a big problem. We're talking $20,000 a month lost on some channels, and this is happening to a lot of people, and there's nothing you can do about it. So the first reason you have to build an email list is because if something like that happens to you, or YouTube suddenly loses his favor or shuts down, you need an audience you actually own, otherwise you will be left with nothing. Now the next reason you need this is because there's no algorithm. You send an email and pretty much everyone will get it, and if you can write a great headline, you will find that 50% of people will open it. So that's a 50% click-through rate if you compare it to YouTube, which on YouTube is impossible. And that means you can get a message out really fast to your biggest fans because those are the people who are likely to sign up. Now another reason this is mega is because you can get people to sponsor it. So that's another revenue source. You can use it to promote affiliate links, and more importantly, you you can use it to promote your products and services, and that means sales can be instant. So if you don't have anything to sell yet, it doesn't matter because one day you will, and when that day comes, you need a way to get your message out. Which brings me onto the problem and the common trap that will stop you ever making 10 grand and more, and I want you to avoid it at all costs, and that is that if you're new to this, you need to kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. So what happens when you sign up to someone's email list a lot of the time is you go into something called a nurture campaign. Now the creator in question will offer you a freebie of some kind in exchange for your email, something like a mini course or a PDF. And then you'll sign up and then you'll get that. And then they're gonna email you like every day for a week. And then they'll usually push some sort of product to you. And then at the end of that onboarding campaign, they'll put you into their weekly email system. Now this is called email automation. And there's some absolutely insane things you can do for it. For example, if someone clicks on a link in your email, Email, they can then automatically get put into another brand new email campaign that encourages them to buy something. It's really powerful, but I want you to totally ignore it because it's a trap. Just listen to how confusing everything I just said was. I bet your eyes glazed over. So if you're new to this, email is more overwhelming than drinking from a fire hose. So if you were just getting started, ignore all that crap and just do what I'm gonna show you in a second because you can generate hundreds of thousands of dollars a year with just the most basic system and then you can level it up to go parabolic after. But doing the complex stuff first is gonna be like trying to eat a Mars bar before you've unwrapped it. Plasticky. And then the next thing people are gonna tell you to do which will stop you ever doing this is they're gonna tell you to create something called a lead magnet. Now a lead magnet is when you offer something free in return for the viewer's email. So you'll say something like sign up and we'll send you this planner or notion template or mini course. I did it at the very start of this email when I said, click the link in the description to download my step-by-step -step template. Sneaky, eh? So this is one of the fastest no-brainer ways to grow your list, but you should not do it because it puts a hurdle that you're gonna have to jump over in the way of you just getting started. When I started with email, I literally just said in a video and on my community board, oh, I've just started an email list. If you'd like to learn more in-depth YouTube channel growing tips and tricks, just sign up. And that was it. And then people did sign up. And then over time, as I got into the swing of things, I started offering more reasons to sign up, but I still don't go that crazy on it because many of us are solopreneurs. So we gotta take things in bite-sized pieces 
not just try and do everything straight away. And that's absolutely fine. So the most important thing is you get started and you don't worry about all the amazing complicated things you can do just yet. So how do you start and grow an email list and then make money from that? Well, I'm gonna show you the simplest way ever that will actually get you started. And then I'm gonna show you the strategy I use to build my list really simply. And then I'm gonna show you the exact system I use to write my emails so you can just copy it. And I've got a mega hack for getting signups that does this every time you use it. It's a good one, you're gonna like that. I don't usually tell people it either. Okay, so first things first, in order to start and grow an email list that generates 10 grand and way more, you need some software, boo. So there's tons of options out there, but again, this is gonna overwhelm the heck out of you just trying to find one. So just don't try and find anything. I'm not sponsored by these guys, but I'm about to move all of my email marketing over to this platform because I believe it is the best option for YouTube creators. So just use this. It's called ConvertKit. Now, the reason you should start here is because firstly, it's free for your first 1,000 subscribers. And then after that, you have to pay, which might start to look expensive, but in truth, it's not. It's only expensive if you don't use email in the right way. You should, by the time you get to 1,000 subscribers, using the method I'm gonna show you be making way more than the cost to use the software. But that doesn't matter right now anyway, because it's free. So it's a no brainer. It's also going to give you a ton of room to grow into. This has features that I'm not going to go into today because they're going to overwhelm you. But let's just put it this way. I wouldn't be moving my email there if I didn't think it was the best option long term. So the next thing this platform is going to give you is a form. So this is how you're going to get people to sign up to your emails. So you will simply link to this and then write a very simple sign up page. I am talking super duper duper simple. So here's what you're going to do on that page. Page. The good news is hardly anything. All you do is write up the results your viewers will get by receiving your email. So here's Justin from Creator Wizards and his list is growing very fast. Here's Jay Klaus's and his simply says become a better creator in just 10 minutes a week. And then here's mine, become a better YouTuber in four minutes a week. Why is ours so similar? Well, I know why, because we've both copied The Morning Brew, a newsletter that was sold for millions and has an insane amount of people sign up to it. Is it the best headline ever? No, I don't think so. But did it get the sign up page built fast so we could just get started? Yes. So if you want to get going, just copy this become a better something in just a certain amount of minutes. YouTubers need to live by the ready, fire, aim approach. This is when you make something you think is okay and over time you adapt it to make it better. If you don't, you'll just never get going. And then you just simply write a subheadline which lets people know the value they'll get. And then when you've been doing this a while, you get some testimonials on that page about how fantastic your email is and that is it. In an ideal world, the email link you share takes someone to a page with absolutely no menu on it. So all they can do is sign up or leave. Less distractions are gonna cause more signups and Comfort Kit does all of this for you for free, so it's a no brainer. Okay, so that's the page, then what happens? So imagine when someone signs up to that form, they have a word drawn on their head. This word is called a tag. So this word can be anything you like. For example, we'll say it's Gooba, the weird name I decided to give my demo list. Just realized I wrote this in the mirror, so it's all backwards, isn't it? So what happens is when you go to your email list in the software, one of the first things it's going to ask you is who do you want to email? And this is where you'll pick a tag. So you'd select the Gooba tag, which means anyone who used that form, who got the stamp on their head, will get that email. Now in the future, when you do build lead magnets, you might add a different tag just to that sign up form called PDF. And what that will do is activate an automation and send that person with the stamp on their head the PDF that they have signed up for. And then it might add the Goober tag too, so that you can then easily send them your weekly email. And that is how it kind of works. Landing page, form, tag, email, $10,000. Easy. But how often do you email your list? And what the heck do you send them? And how does this even make you money? All right, so once again, we're gonna keep this as simple as we possibly can. So forget lead magnets for now and all the fancy stuff. All you need to do is pick how often you're gonna email your audience and get started. So let me show you how to decide that. When I started taking my email list more seriously, I realized I'd been rubbish at messaging my list. I send a random email here and there, and that was kind of it. So I made a commitment and I said, once a month, you have to email your list something of value. That was it. So here's a few things that I've tested sending over the years. The first option was just a written email. I'm gonna show you how to write these in a second. So I would come up with an interesting title, kind of like a YouTube video, and then write around 500 to 700 words on it. Now, another option was really simple. I would just email a video. I would tell my viewers if they join my list, they could send me questions, and then I'd answer them in a weekly video. Now, the crazy thing about this was, this video had no editing at all. It was just me talking, reading questions from my phone, and the retention was like 70% plus because the people in your list already trust you. So they're willing to listen to you more than those pesky cold viewers on YouTube that wreck your retention. Now there's tons of other things you can do. You could simply share links to your favorite content online that you found over that last week or month that you think the viewers shouldn't miss. You could cover news stories, share amazing deals you found, and you can even just rewrite your best performing video into a short email. You can tell stories of problems that you overcame that your viewers have too, or do case studies on other people who have achieved wonderful things. You can list mistakes you've made, you wish you hadn't. In fact, coming up with ideas for your email is just like YouTube, but 10 times easier because there's no filming, editing, thumbnail, or algorithm to concern you. But 
really, it doesn't have to be world changing to start off. Good is better than trying to be perfect, but the key for me is you take this seriously and say, I'm going to try and make every email I send really good so that people read it and want to open the next. But keep in mind, really good doesn't mean long. Notice how I said on my sign up page in only four minutes, my readers are busy. They don't have time to waste. So I give them as much compacted value as possible with the goal of creating a list people actually get excited to open. And that's it. Just post once a month to get you started. This will stop you getting overwhelmed and stressed and get the ball rolling and your list built. And then to promote it, just mention you have a list in your videos on your community wall and leave links on your channel page and in the description of every video you make and you have all the foundations ready to go. And then here's my pro tip. If you really want to get good at this, what you want to do is sign up to lots of people's email lists. And the first thing you want to look at is how they title their emails. And then you want to see what kind of cool things they do inside for inspiration. So people send all sorts of stuff in their emails. I don't think there's a right or wrong way to do this, but if you signed up to a few, it's going to make coming up with your own ideas 10 times easier. There's a few emails I'd highly recommend that you check out and sign up to. Firstly, my own, because you're going to see everything I'm talking about in action, and you'll learn a ton about YouTube monetization, and I give away free stuff too. There's a link in the description below. Thank you. See how easy that was to promote? And then there's this one from Chanel, which is called Growth in Reverse. She actually talks about growing an email list too, so I think it'll be really handy for you. She has a completely different strategy to me, but they're going to be both effective. And another thing to do is just go to other creators in your niche and have a look and see if they have emails that you can sign up for. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, the bar here is going to be pretty low in most niches. So if you follow the system in the template below, you're probably going to get ahead of 99% of them. The thing is, sending once a month, not quite enough. Once you're confident with software and writing, you want to turn things up a notch. So what I did was set a goal that one day I would have the best email in the world about YouTube growth and monetization. So I decided that in order to get there, I now needed to post twice a month. And I knew it was time to up the amount because I kept getting messages from people saying, oh, I wish you would write more of these. So yeah, switched to twice a month and then got the same messages and ended up posting every week as a result. You can do this in steps. Don't feel like you have to start going at 150 miles an hour. And then it's all about being consistent, growing the list and trying to get better and better at writing. But how long does this all take it? I'm a YouTube creator. I ain't got much time. Well, the good news is every Friday, I have two hours set out in the morning to write all my tweets for the following week and my email. That's it. You don't need much more. It will, of course, get easier and faster over time. But this is not like making YouTube videos. Thing is, how does this make you money? And how do you even write them? Well, the simplest way to make money is just to link to your product in every email. The idea here is to not sell, sell, sell. You want to follow the 80-20 rule. So 80% info, 20% promo. So every week, what I do is put links down the bottom of my email to my products. It's not a hard sell and I'm really not actually that interested in making tons of sales from this. I just kind of want people to know that I have products there. And then what happens is every now and then you send a promo to a product that is just a full-on promo to your list. Now you can of course get smart and write emails in a way that will make it feel like an educational email that has some promo in it, which I do sometimes, but it takes a lot longer and more skill to pull off and you might not be there yet. So you can just simply promote. Again, this might not be the best way to do it, but it is the simplest way in a way that's gonna get you sales and that's gonna get you going. Now, when you do a promo, you can be open in the headline that it is an advert so that only people who are interested in hearing about this product will click on it. You can, of course, be more cryptic, but really, I believe you shouldn't try and get too smart here, especially when you're new to this. Now, people will unsubscribe way more when you do a promo, but don't take it personally. Most educators have an audience of people that looks like this. Those beginners will often quit, so there's a very strong chance that they hit unsubscribe because they just decided not to keep learning about your topic. So in a minute, I'm going to show you how to come up with the simplest product to sell to generate 10k via email fast. But first, just let me show you how to write your weekly, bi-weekly or monthly email. And in its simplest form, it's like this. You write a trailer, then you give them the movie. So the first thing you need is a great title. Now, you want to think intrigue here. You can even use video titles from YouTube videos from your channel or someone else's. I mean, it would make a lot of sense to have an email headline the same as a video that got loads of views, right? There's proof that people care about it. Then what you do is you write the hook. Now, I'm going to link to a video about how to write hooks at the end of this, and that's going to give you five you can try. Just stick to them for the ultimate time saving. And then you just need your hook to grab attention, and then you write your setup. So this is like a little trailer for what to expect from the email. I like to bullet point mine because people skim read emails first to make them really short, simple and intriguing. And that's the key. Don't give too much away here and then dive into the email. Now what you want to do is use headlines as a weapon. So in YouTube, we don't have headlines, but people will skim an email first. So we want our headlines to let them see what the section of the email is about or intrigue them to want to read the copy. Now, if you've decided to have different segments in your email, then the headline will be key to separate them. Or if it's just one article, it will separate it into chapters, but it will make it way easier to read and less overwhelming for people. 
people. And then you just unload the info you set up in the bullet points and that's your movie. Now I try to use images in your posts too that help make your information much easier to understand. Visual things are really powerful for simplifying content as well. Also stories are super powerful too and your own stories are a weapon for engagement here. So use them to make a point. Now. Don't fall into this trap and try and build a newsletter that looks cool. Again, this is gonna take up loads of time and it's not what matters here. Simple text on its own is good. And also you wanna leave plenty of white space. So keep in mind that people with ADHD and dyslexia can't read text that's bundled all up together. I get so many emails thanking me for the spacing I do in my emails and making them as easy to read as I possibly can. I do it because I can't read this, but I can read this and it just makes everyone's life easier. Also, you wanna to write to a reading age of 12. No, seriously. It won't make you look dumb. It will make your viewers feel smart. And if you don't know how to do that, get ChatGPT to rewrite your email for you and ask it to do it to the reading age of 12. AI is amazing for email. Open up ChatGPT and then keep one room just for your emails. Paste yours in every time you write one and then ask it to rewrite it in a chatty way with a reading age of 12 and then read it back. And if you like it, just use it or just adjust it to suit your taste. What happens is over time, as you paste your email in and ask it to tart it up, it's gonna learn your writing style and it's gonna sound way more like you. I've used it for every email I've sent since November, 2022. I'm dyslexic, so it reduces the hate mail I get when I have a typo, but it also helps me write shorter sentences, make sure I explain things in simpler ways, and it's an amazing time-saving hack. I can also paste in YouTube scripts from YouTube videos and then say summarize bullet point and headline this, and then paste the script in, and then I can turn that into an email or you can ask it to do it for you. Now, I don't tend to ask it to write whole emails for me. I use it more to tidy up what I've done and to see if I can improve it in any way. It's not quite ready for full-on writing yet. Okay, so now the trick for getting signups fast. I don't usually tell people this, but today I'm gonna, and it feels good. Can you guess looking at this graph when I used it? Yep, that is a big old sign-up spike. Once this worked so well, my system couldn't tag people fast enough, which is another reason I'm moving to ConvertKit. So what you do is this. On launch day of your email, you wanna use this opportunity to get more signups. So what you do is you go and write a community wall post that teases the value that this week's email will have, and then you add a picture to it. It needs to be a 1080 by 1080 square for the YouTube community wall. And make this post all about intrigue. So write a one-line hook, follow the hooks video I'm gonna to link to at the end to help you out with that. And you want this hook to target a problem your viewers will have, then state a certain time that you're gonna be emailing your list about how to solve this problem. Then just write a quick bullet pointed summary of the value of the email and then put your link. Put it on every social platform you have and boing, spiky, spiky. My record was 800 signups in a day from one of these posts. Let me know in the comments if you can beat me because life's just one giant competition. Okay, so big problem. What if you don't have a product? How do you make one and how can you make one fast and easily which you can sell via email with no risk? Well, in the very near future, I'm gonna be releasing a 30 minute deep dive to show you this. If you'd like to receive it, sign up to my email list below because the ones that do will be getting this mega bonus content. It's gonna show you how we took a YouTuber from zero to $100,000 using it in only a few months and break down exactly how to do it yourself too in quite a lot of detail. Anyway, in order to make email work to its best every time, you need to get good at writing hooks because that will explode your email open rates and your signups too. So watch this video next because it will teach you five simple ways to hook people just like that.